Hey everybody, this is Robert Cadnings with the Chatham County Public Information Office and I want to thank you for tuning in today for the chat and I have two special guests. First, I'm going to interview um, or I'm going to introduce uh, my partner in crime, my co-host for today, Sean Evans, Assistant PIO for the County. Sean, what's up? How are you? Thanks for having me. Awesome. Good to, be here. Good to have you here. And our special guest today is Safety Training Manager, Lee Harold for Occupational Safety and Risk Management. Lee, you guys stay busy year round, don't you? We sure do. It, it, but it is wonderful to be busy again. Awesome. After so many years of not being busy. You know, I want to kind of jump right into this because we've done some projects together. You know, we, we did the Moby Chair out on Tybee Island. We did. We did Roads Work Safety Week. Um, great, informative, and it really provides a service to a lot, not only the employees, but residents of the county as well. You know, I don't know if people truly understand what occupational safety and risk management really do, but you have a monumental task of really <laughs> training everyone in the county. Talk about that. Well, we do. Um, our goal is just to make sure that everyone in our workforce is trained. They have a safe, accessible, injury-free workplace. And we do this through several different ways, initiatives that we have, employee safety programs. We do safety inspections, safety audits, accessibility audits for our citizens. Um, we have the longest department name in the history of the county. That you do. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but we are even more unique than that. We are very unique because everyone in our office does something different. We're also one of two, I believe it's two, government agencies in the state of Georgia that has a dedicated safety department for their employees. Um, that... We've been nationally recognized for that, and uh, so we're we're just we're unique. We're busy. We're always running around. Um, we have a compliance manager that uh, you'll see running around doing safety inspections, making sure that our um, all of our operations are safe for our employees. And she does safety meetings for everybody. So when you have a safety meeting, you'll see her. She does uh, testing. Um, air quality testing and safety testing, fire extinguisher um, uh, inspections, and um, the automated external defibrillator program mm. comes from our office. So that and that's just one person. So right. <laughs> we have another person who does um, accessibility issues uh, for all all of our facilities. We have a risk manager in the office that does our claims and property damage. And then I do the safety training. I have hybrid, in-person, online uh, training classes that we do for all of our employees. And the boss tries to just kind of hold us all together with our admin, Amy. And uh, you guys just got a newsletter from me this morning. That's right. Yep. So we a lot of communications. Um, we just we we want to all work together to make sure that our county employees have a safe workplace. That is job number one. Well, and you have a huge man hour project on the horizon we for do. 2023 doing that audit of handicap accessibility through all of Chatham yes. County facilities, right? That's going to be huge. So we've been asked to go through all of our facilities to make sure that they are accessible to everyone regardless of abilities. Mm -hmm. And it's really important that everyone have access to county uh, buildings, uh, recreational facilities, mm -hmm. parks. That's another, mm -hmm. another big one. Right. So we'll be coming around doing that. Our accessibility uh, uh, compliance manager is going to be handling that for us. Looking back on, on the past year, 2022, through your active involvement with the workforce, what did your department learn about no. the organization as a whole? Well, you know, we, we learned that there are some things that we have to work on as far as um, Accessibility, of course, that's what brought on this uh, this audit. We just want to make sure that everybody can read our website and has access. To so we're going to be using some partners. Mm -hmm. I know we're partnering with PIO about uh, the website, mm -hmm. and um, we oh Lake Mayor. Yes. Lake Mayor is uh, the the what is it out there that uh, the fishing pier? 
-hmm. is accessible now, which is wonderful for the That's chances. Huge. That is yeah. huge. And then Butterbean Beach, the pavilion at Butterbean Beach is now accessible. Mm -hmm. So you, you can go right out there and no matter what, you can go out there and enjoy your parks. That's great. And yeah, it is great. Um, I think another thing, though, that we've learned is although we're very new, we have been able to reduce accidents and injuries to our employees and reducing costs to the county as, as a whole. So I think the, the outcome from just a few years has made us realize safety is so important mm -hmm. um, because we want to be good stewards of taxpayer money and we do that through reducing those medical costs and mm -hmm. reducing those time because everyone's got staff shortages. You know, if we have fewer employees out, um, it benefits everyone as a whole. So we've learned a few things. A lot of that's due to education. And it that's is. where you really play a vital role. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't like to take that much credit for it. Well, but you're good at what you do, well, and it you. shows. I enjoy it. Okay. Well, and, and Lee, I do want to ask also, changes on the horizon for this year. I know you talked about the audit. Uh, we also have the training courses for all the departments mm -hmm. that want to sign up, whether it's defensive driving, first aid, CPR, AED training. Right. But what are some really big points that you want to hit this year, goals that you have for 2023? So we're expanding some of our offerings, and we are creating a safety leadership program for our employees, which is huge because, you know, you get a promotion in, in, the, in the county, and you know your job. You are the, sa you are the subject matter expert for that job. And what can I teach you? Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if we hire you for an excavator job, if you are an excavator operator, I can't teach you anything about operating that piece of equipment, but I can tell you how to do it safely. I can tell you to watch out for power lines. I can tell you to um, put trench boxes down so the, the dirt doesn't collapse on you. You know, we, we, we don't train you technically how to do that job, but we want you to live through that job. And so this safety leadership program is going to be great to go along with that because they, those are safety um, leaders and they're subject matter experts. So when we put the two together, mm -hmm. um, the supervisors need, need to convey to their employees too that supervisors do have responsibility to their employees. Mm -hmm. And uh, this supervisory program is going to be fantastic. I'm excited. It sounds like it's a force multiplier for you. It is. It is. So that's, that's one exciting thing. We're just happy to be back out there, Sean. You know, <laughs> yep. the pandemic it's been a long years, couple of years. Yeah, we were stuck in an office, and I don't <laughs> think anyone realizes uh, we're used to being out with our employees. We go out during the summer and bring them cold water. Right. Um, and that gives us a chance to chat with them and have an open dialogue. But we miss our employees when we're not out there with them. And being back out in the workforce is just. This has been a, a fantastic, the past year and a half, and it's been good being out there with them. One of the few departments that's actually touching every single department within the organization. I think I know more county employees by name and face than most anyone, Yeah. because we do contact everybody. You know, it leads me to this question, Lee, and I, I think it's relatively self-evident, but I'm still gonna ask it anyway. You know, the training initiatives that you touched upon, you know, why is training really so important? And especially with the Chatham County workforce, it's not only about safety, but it's about education as well. It is. It's, you know, t training a team member is crucial to their longevity with the county and their success with the county. Mm -hmm. um, if we can, if, if, if we can keep them from being injured, because injuries can be life changing and we don't want that to happen to any of our employees. So, you know, if, if we can keep them safe on the job and then have them take safety home with them to their families. Mm -hmm. So we're not only just keeping them safe here, we're keeping them safe with their families. Their families matter to us as well. Um, you know, that, that's a benefit to everyone. I think safety, people don't realize that having a safety department is actually an employee benefit. Uh, to them because of the, the things that we teach them, CPR, AED, first aid, fire extinguisher. Um, we are, one of the exciting things, Heart Health Month is coming up in February and we're doing a huge concentration on getting our employees trained in CPR and AED. Sign me up for that. I will class, sign both of you up. That's it right. Is, it is a great class and, and we're going to be doing several of those because we feel it's important to have 
Our, if you think about the number of employees that we're training every year, we give them this training that not only benefits them in the workforce, but you've got now a whole community of people who know how to perform CPR mm -hmm. and could save the life of somebody that's not affiliated with the county at all. They could save a family member or if someone just drops on the street. So, I, I, you know, safety is a huge benefit to all of us. Well, and that leads to the next question. Um, community initiatives in mm -hmm. the works for you all. That in itself is almost a community initiative. As you said, it can be applied outside of the organization, but what outward facing initiatives do you have for this? Well, year? you know, our office mainly serves internal customers as our workforce, but mm -hmm. our compliance and accessibility coordinator, Ben, um, he is working on projects that benefit the community. Absolutely. So he's, he's been working with Lake Mayor and Butterbean. He was out at Butterbean Beach um, working this week, and we're partnering with you guys on the, the website accessibility. Mm -hmm. We're always improving and evaluating our our services that we do. If we can if we can be safe here, then we can provide better services. But we're evaluating our playgrounds and recreation uh, areas so that our citizens can enjoy it. And that's tough because we have we do offer a lot. Yeah. And we have one person that does that. So um, he's up to the task. I think he can get this done. No problems. No problem. um, one, one quick thing. I know you have another question, Sean. Um, but, you know, we touched on it in the beginning about the Moby Chair. Yes. And, you know, I know it's a little chilly right now to go to the beach, but maybe people aren't really aware of that. It is truly an asset that not only Ben, but your entire department was really instrumental in getting that pushed through. And there's more than one out on Tybee. So explain yeah. to those who may not be aware of it, you know, Lee, of, of what the Moby Chair is and what it really adds to the quality, quality of life for some of the residents. I'm glad you brought that up because the Moby Chair is fantastic. It's a great asset to, to Chatham County because the beach is huge. People come mm -hmm. here from all over the world. And imagine if you are confined to a wheelchair, you can go enjoy the view, but you can't enjoy the ocean. And so this was a way for us to give our visitors and our citizens an opportunity to enjoy the beach just like anyone else. Yeah. So you can go to the lifeguard station and mm -hmm. you could tell them that you want to uh, get the Moby chair. Mm -hmm. It's simple to operate, easy to push, easy to pull, mm -hmm. and it floats. And so this opens up the world mm -hmm. to someone who has lived a life that has barriers. Mm -hmm. This is just wiping away one of those barriers. Absolutely. Uh, and one of the last things here, Lee, I know uh, ideas like that probably come from observing other communities that are similar yes. to ours. Um, what other areas of focus is your department doing within the workforce uh, or the community to serve, you know, either our employees or folks better similar to that? Well, so we are we are working hard to. Um, make Chatham County a safer place. Mm -hmm. um, we, we have a lot of activities that we do. We celebrate National Safety Month in June. And our commissioners give us a proclamation for that. And so we want to encourage people that, that don't work for the county to be safe. We want to encourage other employers to, we're a role model. Leading by example. And yeah. we do lead by that. Don't come in our office because we may stand in a chair occasionally, but <laughs> but we do. We are good role models to other employers who may not have the resources. Mm -hmm. They can, you know, they can take a cue out of our book. Um, offer your offer your employees some safety training. I've got uh, other agencies that call and say, "Hey, we want to do what you guys are doing," and I'm always happy to mm -hmm. help other. Uh, we contact other governments. Um, we are involved in National Safety Council mm -hmm. divisions, which allow us an opportunity to go and see what other places are doing and then bring that here and then um, open that up to everybody in the county. So they get to see what we're doing. We lead by example, and hopefully all employees in Chatham County will have a safer workplace.
Certainly. You know, when you were talking Lee, about the, the, the benefit of not only the education and training aspect of it, but when we took our safety driving course, we were able to actually get a discount on our insurance personally. Yes. So that's, you know, kind of like a side benefit of attending your training courses. And I'm sure you're busy throughout the year. Like you said, February, you have an event, June, you have an event, and then there's training, I would assume, throughout the year as well. We train about 1,500 employees a year. Um, I think we have a goal of 81 classes for this year. The, the classes are, I don't just bring canned training to our employees. Um, I prefer to look at each training class to see if it benefits us here at the county, but it, does it also give the employee a benefit? And that driver training, I would not go any other way. If, if it's going to be required here, I want it to benefit the employee personally as well. And then we have the courses that are offered through Parks and Recreation for the spouses and for anyone else in the county for that matter. Mm -hmm. So bringing, bringing in some kind of training that's going to benefit our employees here and at home. And then we get the children involved. Right. So in some of our campaigns, we, we have coloring contests, we have different activities for the kids, learning activities. I, we enjoy it, I think, a little bit more than the kids do because our office is just full of beautiful artwork from employees' children. That's great. So, yeah, just kind of teaching people from the very beginning, from a young age on up, how to be safe. Well, I'll say I've been doing the three-second-plus rule on 16 on the drive home uh, next year, of course. Not everyone is right now, Sean. It's it's darn near impossible, but hey, it only takes one person, right? Thank you. It does. It takes one person. And, and if we've got a whole set of better drivers, more mm -hmm. defensive drivers out there, that's a benefit for all the citizens. I'm not going to lie, I do hear your voice driving sometimes. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> the voice of reason, the angel. Yes, the little, she's, the, she's on my left shoulder, there's somebody else on the right. Um, Lee, anything that Sean and I have missed that you think that would be important, folks should know, that you want to share? Well, you know, we're talking today about employee safety and how employee safety is great, but I just, I want to encourage everyone to think about safety mm -hmm. in their home, not only in the workplace, but you want to live a healthy and productive life. And injuries can cut that short. Uh, one of the things that we really, even on my personal social media, I'm out there sharing safety tips all of the time, um, you know, changing the batteries in your smoke detectors. And they always say, when you set the clock back, make sure you change your batteries in the smoke detector. But hey, take a chance. Open up that first aid kit and <laughs> see what's missing in there. You might have to, right. you know, there might just be burn cream left in there. All the Band-Aids are gone, so refill the Band-Aids right. during that same period of time. Um, make sure that you have fire extinguishers in your home and teach your children how to use those. If you've got old ones, that's a great opportunity. Go in the backyard and let them pull the pin and mm -hmm. see how it works. I've got adults in their 50s come into my fire extinguisher classes and they've never pulled a fire alarm. So I give them a chance. I have a little simulator. They get to pull the fire alarm as many times as they want to. <laughs> but I think we go through life not really thinking so much about safety and uh, bringing this to our employees and having them bring it home to their families and then talking to all of our friends out here today. Uh, just. Think about your safety a little bit more. Um, personal safety, yes, but potential hazards at home and around your environment, think about that too. And use the three second rule. <laughs> I'm sticking to it. And I think I might have pulled a few fire have switches you? In, in my I past. I can't see that with you. No. I can't see there, that with Sean. Is there a statue to be that, there, there is, careful, and, and it's way past that. <laughs> Sean doing that, but I do see you doing that. Oh, right. thanks, Leah. Yeah. I appreciate that. Well, I guess I have to take more training. But I'm right there with you. You know, I, I can pull that We on. do have the same personality, yeah. similar. <laughs> well, anything else, Sean, you got? Okay, I want so to much. really sure. thank you, Lee, for taking the time. Obviously, you're busy. You know, your department is so crucial for the county, and I want to thank you for taking the time out of uh, your day to spend with us. Oh, I am delighted to be here. Thanks for asking me. Awesome. It's been awesome. For Sean Evans, Lee Harold, I'm Robert Katniss. We will see you next time on The Chat.